welcome back to the Nightcap with TLJ. Um, we're going to jump into something a little bit lighter. Um, so what I want to do is I want to ask a question. Um, uh, the reality TV world has taken over, um, as we all know. <laughs> and what I want us to know is, what do you think about uh, black women in reality TV? What do you think about them in their relationships, their self-esteem? Do you see it as a positive or do you see it as a negative or is there in between? Honestly, I stopped watching reality TV. I leave the, the acting to the real actors and actresses. <laughs> because that's what they're doing. Because that took, I, I, so I don't watch what I hear about reality TV will be what I hear at work. Cause so what made you stop watching? Because of the, the cattiness. Mm -hmm. But I is it true? To, I don't know because I never had that type of relationship. So for me to okay. see black women mm -hmm. getting down and built, tearing each other down, I never had that type of relationship with any woman in my life. Okay. Work relationships, any mm -hmm. woman. So I'm like, huh? <laughs> no, not it's, for me. It's, 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 it's not for me. It's, I don't watch reality TV. It's a lot going on on there. And um, I, I mention it because. Um, Yes, it's, it's entertainment, you know, people watch because it keeps them captivated, you know, who's going to get into this next week, however, is it portraying the real reality, or is it showing something, is it a mirror sometimes, do we, not do we reality. as women, well no, not, right. some, some of the reality right. like, is true though, mm -hmm. it's just on TV, so you say the, the, <laughs> the relationships where the woman is being cheated on by that guy, like, uh, what's his name, Rich Dallas, Okay. Old mm -hmm. love and hip hop, um, New York. Mm -hmm. He had the Tara and the Amina. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know he he left the one that he was with for years with her mm -hmm. children and just married mm -hmm. the other one. Oh, wow. You know, but how many times have we seen that in our with, with people mm -hmm. around? Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And 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 we see it on TV and we we say yeah, it is the the fighting to me is awful because you know and I and don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. I, I I've had I have my share of mm -hmm. moments when I was a teenager that I, I so I'm not saying that I'm a teenager. Yeah. Not the forty key, year old. And the key that <laughs> in, in you're on T V is is the problem. But when it comes to the relationships aspects of it, I think sometimes it is a reflection, unfortunately, of what we see on a regular basis. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think the betrayals are true. I mm -hmm. think that although it's not your reality, however, mm -hmm. when you look at yeah. the majority, you know, because they're getting dig down, deep down into these relationships, yeah. mm -hmm. the dysfunction of them, and yeah. at the core, and from a production standpoint, they're asking them to fight. They're asking them, them to argue. Absolutely, there's That's the just, instigations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. I think in reality TV, because um, I've watched you know some different things, and I'm like, that's so sad. But yeah, it shows like yours and it shows, you know, like people who are really looking to really change the game to right. flush these things out of the top to let people know it doesn't have to be, be that way. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's the it key. doesn't right. that's, that's, because that's, that's they it, need that's, it. Absolutely. Help. And I think um, a lot of them need help. Um, I look at uh, mm -hmm. what's her name? Um, Jocelyn and uh, Jill oh, yes. yes, and Mimi. I would do a yes. Jocelyn impression, but. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> Jocelyn yes. and Mimi. Um, her situation, to me, it's amazing that if you listen, when you can understand, when if you listen Certainly. to what she's saying, she's talking to or at Mimi as if Mimi, as if she's angry at her. But you were the one that came into that relationship mm -hmm. and blew it True. apart mm -hmm. because you had your part in it and, and, sure. and the, you know as the other woman or as that we have you know I'm not knocking you because you do what you do but we have to that's their mirror that's, that's their, their responsibility. responsibility yes absolutely you came into that relationship and blew it apart the feeling should be vice versa to me exactly. she should hate you I mean you know in reality mm -hmm. She should. But you broke up my happy home. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and it may, necessarily, may not necessarily happy, been happy. But you broke up my home. But the fact that you're so angry at this other woman, mm -hmm. to me, who was the woman, is, is, is amazing. But women do that all the time. And, and, and when you say the cattiness and tearing each other down, unfortunately, and I see it all the time within our, our, our race, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. do tear each other down. It's women. We don't give each other enough props. 
when we need to and we need that we need sisterhood we are sisters mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. need that I, I we need that on a that. regular basis and to see it on tv as you said it it, it does get to the point where you like but it's so real because if you look out into other people's lives even if it's not in yours personally you see that true you see that quite often it's it, it's sad um i can mention uh let's say the met ball um i know you guys heard about the beyonce dress Mm -hmm. Okay, now Beyonce's dress was see-through. However, we talked about her so bad. Yet J Lo and it's Kim the Kardashian had the, the same, same thing. thing, and they all look to me. They all look beautiful. Hello. So I'm not going to say anything bad about. But we tore her up about that. You know, she's a Some mom. Okay, absolutely. J Lo yeah. told it to her and a mom. Hello. But guess what? They she both look good. spectacular. Absolutely. But we do that with each other we so do. much. We, we put do. each other against each other, just like. Um, uh, you know, we'll ask who's the best, Beyonce or Rihanna. They're not. Why? Why do they have to be the best? They're both amazing, right? And it, I, I notice that it's us who mm -hmm. does that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I don't understand it. I think that too, and and that's a, a another wonderful show time. Right. <laughs> you know, we're talking about that. You know, the sisterhood and how we tear each other down mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. as they relate to relationships, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, you have something called relationship mm -hmm. self esteem, right? Because. How do you feel good about yourself when you're being torn down by another exactly. woman to feel good in your relationship? Exactly. So I would ask you, Tracy, like, what would you talk to the producers or say the producers of reality TV in regards to relationships and how to actually depict it? You know what? What I would say is instead of just um, um, showing the bad parts, Absolutely. the ugly parts, get mm -hmm. some counseling on the show. You know, get a counselor to come on to the show and show the healing portion of Because every relationship that has had turmoil or issues doesn't necessarily have to end badly. Things can be mended and show that part of it. Don't just show the destruction. Right. That's what it seems like. All we see a, is destruction. There was an episode that I caught up, House, Atlanta Housewives, mm -hmm. and they did bring in at some point yes. a concert. I never yes. watched that episode. And guess what said, happened? What happened? They had a fight at the concert no, session and they walked out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the psychologist. But see, yeah, right. it, yeah. Right. But see, to me, that was all pre planned. You know what I'm saying? We, we're going to put them in this situation and we're going to give them what they need to have in the ear. But my thing is, you don't always have to show that because exactly. healing is entertaining as well. And you know what I'm saying? It, it, it can be. It, it, it can be. It can be. Right. Of it right. And it, it can be because it's also learning. Right. It is. You know, is. you see yourself, and I know plenty of women have seen themselves in those women on TV in situations dealing with men, dealing with, mm -hmm. you know, trying to be a, a mother and also trying to, uh, you know, pursue their career. It, all those right. things, we need to see the good part. Can we Me see too. their businesses, the, exactly. the empire right. that they're building? Let's see that Let's behind see the scenes exactly. work so that we know how to get to that step. So that the Absolutely. people that's looking at the reality TV show, oh, I can do that. Exactly. You know, we need to see more of I can do that. I think, you know, Period. what's interesting about you asking this question, couples therapy, which mm -hmm. is an, uh, a reality TV therapy that people are seeing that even they have drama within couples therapy. And right. that's supposed to right. be therapy. Right. But again, we, we sensationalize this pain yes. and all of these different things because we like that. Exactly. We mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. level of dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and I think that um, when we get to the point that as individuals, we really begin to like change the way that we live and what we do. I think that's when we will transform our world. I agree. Well, well, you know, that that's, that's again, one of the things that I hope to yes. do. Um, and you will do it, I believe. You know, you know, you know you're I, 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 need to, I need to reach out to people who want to look in that mirror. And then Absolutely. sometimes I want to catch those who are trying to run by the mirror, but I want to catch you on those stop. words. Stop right here. Stop right here. Right. Take a selfie. Right. right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. That selfie. That's what we need to do. Right. The selfie, the inner selfie. Exactly. And I love the inner right. selfie. The inner we're selfie. Gonna, we're going to hashtag. Oh, there we go. The, the inner selfie. selfie. I love it. Yes. 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 Because that's what we need to start doing. Absolutely. Taking that inner selfie, looking at ourselves. And not just the outside. You know, I can put my makeup on. Like you said, I can get dressed mm -hmm. up and look beautiful on the outside. But let's look in the inside. Take selfies all day. Let's do some inner selfies and learn so and see. With those yes, absolutely. And, and improve. Absolutely. Because improving and, and having a peace of mind, getting to that point is spectacular. And mm -hmm. I hope that everybody can experience that. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back 
to the nightcap with DMJ, um, and we're going to do uh, the last segment. It's going to be a question of the day. Question of the day comes from um, one of my Facebook friends, Brian. Brian wanted me to ask the ladies, um, why is it that women seem to have a more um, openness with their sexuality when they're in a random relationship than versus when they get into a serious relationship or married? He seems to think that it shuts down at that point after you get married or after you get comfortable. The freakiness, the the, the, the randomness, the openness in their sexual sexual standpoint is gone. What do you think happens? Honestly, I'm not married, so I couldn't answer that. Well, even in a good relationship, period. In a good relationship, I am. I You're am, good. I'm still good. All right. <laughs> Tell it on me, their groove back. Yep. <laughs> I think, you know, becoming, uh, women that are <laughs> more or can be more sexually expressive mm -hmm. with random people because we can disassociate sex with emotion. Mm -hmm. um, it mm -hmm. didn't used to be like that men yeah. would be able to do that, but now we're able to do that. Yeah. So right. I yes. think that for us, we are like, we are in heat and or horny and your person <laughs> Absolutely. who can provide that for me. But then also when you are in a relationship, a committed relationship with someone, mm -hmm. it can be good. Mm -hmm. However, when there are things that begin to happen that affect you, yes. that affects the performance in the bedroom. Exactly. And then you have disassociation, disconnection, all of that. I agree. Yeah. I, think, I think that the problem is that... Um, and not all the time because some women do get too comfortable and they get to the point where like, you know, I'm, I'm going to bed, you know, we're, we're being together with, with t-shirt and some bloomers on, you know, and, 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 and that's, that's a shirt. shirt. You know, it's a shirt. Shirt. You know what? <laughs> but my thing is this, and that should be the only time that that only happens. Time that um, I think that we sometimes get to the point where we forget that we, men are visual. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that that whatever that they're looking at, that vision is beautiful. You know what I mean? You have to understand that. You, you really do. You have to, to pay attention to those type of things. You have to remember that what you did to get him, you also you need to do to keep him. Um, and, but on the other aspect of it, when you are in a relationship and you've gone through, you know, at the beginning, maybe things were beautiful. Maybe you've done a number of things that have changed her. Mm. Women also Absolutely. associate sex with emotion, especially Absolutely. when we're in love. So if you Absolutely. hurt me or if I feel like I've been beat down enough, that part of my, my brain is not working for you. Exactly. You know, and, it, it, I and my may brain be, tells me what my body should exactly. want to so, feel. So it's, mm -hmm. again, it's always coming back to asking yourself the question, mm -hmm. did you do anything to get her to that point? Exactly. And if you didn't, then you need to have a talk with her because you may have to have some type Absolutely. of True. counseling because she may not be there anymore, and mm -hmm. if she's not there, you, you two may not why. be compatible mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. I thank you so much, both of you, Yamina, yeah. Stephanie, thank for joining you. me Thanks tonight. I thank you guys for sending in your questions and viewing. Please keep it up. Mm -hmm. I love talking to you just like you love talking to me. It's absolutely the best thing that can happen to me is to have a conversation with you guys on a regular basis. So I would like to thank you for, showing, uh, for joining us, and welcome to the Nightcap. It's going to be something that you. I want you to listen to every Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. That should start your 8.30 p.m. off every time. Awesome. You can check it out on my YouTube channel, The Nightcap with TLJ, or www.thenightcapwithtlj.com.